Alright guys, what's up everybody? It's your boy, it's Elliot, and we're going to go ahead and get our daily dose of fitness in. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over Monday's watt. So this is going to be April 6th watt. It's going to be called the double dip, the double trip. I can't even talk. Let's start this over and act like no one's here live because no one is. Okay. What's good y'all? It's your boy, it's Elliot. We're here, we're live, we're fortunately in a little uh, training studio, so we're going to have more equipment, more work workout videos coming along. It's going to be great. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this down just a little bit so I don't have to talk over it. What's up, Taylor? What's up, Taylor? Hey, you and Jacob need to do this workout. What we're going to do is a, a demo of the double chipper and a stripper workout. What it's going to be, it's going to be two chippers followed by a little core circuit at the end. So the first chipper is going to be 50 thrusters, 40 Russian twists, 30 sumo high pulls, 20 up downs, followed by 10, uh, 10 dumbbell snatches. The next chipper is going to be 50 kettlebell swings, 40 bent over rows, 30, no, 40, 40 bent over rows, 30 dumbbell cleans, 20 dumbbell squats, followed by 10 alternating doubles press. The last bit is going to be all about the core, and it's going to be four rounds of 20 reps. It's going to be 20 break dancers, 20 planks with your side knee raises, followed by tick tocks, and then lastly, reverse crunches or leg raises. What we're going to do is a demo of this workout. So we're going to bump up the music, we're going to get our fitness in, and once more, if you're new to this, if you're around, if you're watching this, and there's snacks within hand distance of you, you need to stop snacking and get fitness in, because that's what we're here to do. So you go ahead and give me my five burpees for snacking instead of fitness in, and let's get after it, okay? I got low here with me. We're going to start out. Our first chipper is once more, it's going to be as fast as we can complete this, 50 thrusters, 40 Russian twists, right and left equals one, followed by 30 high pulls, 20 up downs, and then 10 dumbbell snatches. Here we go. Let's start out, grab your dumbbells for the thrusters. And we're gonna start this as soon as we go. Here we go, three, two, one, go. We got 50. I'm going to break it up into sets of 10. That's 30. Definitely starting to get a little heavy. All right, last 10, and then we're moving on. Now that we got that out of the way, now we got 40 Russian twists. I want you to use your same weight and go side to side. I'm 
gonna break this into two sets of 20. I'm going to break this into two sets of 15. chipper so you're trying to get through these reps as fast as you can and you can't move on to the next exercise till you get done with all your reps of the one that you're on 50 thrusters 40 Russian twist per side right left equals one 30 high pulls 20 up downs 10 snatches last set of 15 here Keep it up. All right. Now for the probably the spiciest of it. I'm going to break this into four sets of five. Up, down. Here. One. Two. Three. Good job, love. When you're doing your sumo high pulls, I want your feet nice and wide. And get on touch the ground. Drive it on up. Two, three, four, five. Can you skip that? We got two more sets. Two more sets of five, and then we're done. One more set of five. snatches and we're going to alternate per arm. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. First chipper done. Now, because I kind of messed up, I'm going to start this here. We're going to do a demo of each exercise for our first tripper. So I'm going to demo thrusters, followed by Russian twist, followed by the sumo high pull, the up down, and then the double snatch. For a thruster, keep the weight by the shoulders, squat down, press up. For our Russian twist, I want you to sit on your butt. Ideally, take your feet off the ground and touch the turf on one side, touch your floor on the other. Boom, boom. If you have a weight, hold on to it. And this is too hard, put your feet on the ground and just rotate your torso side to side. For the sumo high pulls, I want your feet real wide, like you're a sumo wrestler. If you're gonna take your hands, Put them on the inside of the kettlebell and bring your hands up to your chin. 
at the top, my quads and my arms, or my quads are flexed, my core is tight and my elbows are up. From here, 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 to here. All right, the up downs, we should know these by now. Down, up, back up. All right, and then lastly, the dumbbell snatch. I want you to get the dumbbell, it touches the ground, then go straight overhead, switch sides every time. Now let me demo each movement for the next one. The next set we got is 50 kettlebell swings, 40 bits over rows, 30 dumbbell cleans, 20 front squats, followed by 10 devil's press. That first one's gonna be a warm up compared to this. So let me demo each movement. The kettlebell swing, I want our hips to hinge. So we're gonna stick our hips out, drive them forward. One, two. If you want to take it up a level, bring it overhead. I'm personally going to keep it at my nose. You bent over a row. I want you to take both dumbbells. Stay bent over. Keep your core tight. Keep the back upright or flat. And we're rowing here. I want you to grab the backs of those dumbbells and imagine someone has strings attached to your elbows and they're pulling your strings up or you're pulling your elbows up. So from here, here. Dumbbell clean. You can do it two ways. You can have it where the dumbbells touch the outside of your feet and then go up to your shoulders, or you can have a little wider touch and come in. Personally, this mix is the most comfortable for me, so this is the way you guys are going to see me do it. But if you like having a closer stance and getting your dumbbells to touch by your side and come up, be my guest. Now, the alternating devil's press. This is where you say, Elliot, you're not a nice guy. And I say, no, this is just your daily dose of fitness. So go ahead and take it. You're gonna hold one, the hand on the dumbbell, sprawl up like an up down, straight overhead, switch, down, and then up. All right, 10, five on each side. So now you're gonna see Lo and I Go through the burn. Hey, what's up, Jenna? What's up, Francisco? Let's get our fitness on. You guys ready? You ready? All right, time to earn the athlete on my chest. Here we go. We're gonna start this in three, two, one, 50 kettlebell swings. Nice. I'm gonna stop at 25. Give my forearms a breather. In the next 25. Okay, I got 10 more. Woo! My forearms. Did you finish on 50? Good job, love. She beat me. Everyone give them a, give them a little like for love. She just took the lead. Now we're done with the 50 kettlebell swings. Now we have 40 bits over rows.
40 rows done. I had to take the lead back. I can't let it take it. I'm gonna die before I let someone beat me. All right, now we got 30 dumbbell cleans. Where you at? Ten more. Ooh. All right. Now it's two zero. Squat. Both dumbbells up by the shoulder. it up. Pace yourself. Be smart. Woo! Hell yeah. Now, we got our 10 Devil's Press. We're going to have 10 total, 5 on each arm. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. If you're doing this with me, give yourself a pat on the back, because this is tough. Ooh. What's up, Jenna? What's up, Francisco? Well, shout out time. What's up, Aaron? Thanks for joining us. What's up, Ian? What's up, Nazar? Ian, I hope you're doing well. Thank you, Sean, for loving the spiciness. Hey, dude, it got like ghost pepper hot. What's up, Harmony? Thank you for kicking ass this morning. What's up, Ray? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're getting your fitness in. What's up, Mitch? What's up, Ryan? Ryan, I know you're a lone wolf kind of dude. Do this workout. Hello? You so sexy, kissy face. That's what Taylor says. I agree. She said, thanks, Taylor. Hell yeah. Jenna's participating from Tennessee. Hell yeah. Jenna, wash your hands. Don't like toilets. You're really smart. I figured you don't need to hear that, but that's my PSA announcement for everybody. Okay, so now we're gonna get spicy. Um, we got 20 break dancers. Tw uh, everything's four sets of 20. So 420 for this whole thing. We're gonna do a mountain climbers, followed by planks with side knees. Then we're gonna do TikToks and then reverse leg raises. So let me demo everything real quick. For the mount, for the break dancers, you're going to take the left foot, slide it to the right side, sit back. My 
back knee is up to the ceiling, my hands up, and I'm gonna switch. Up and switch. 20, 10 on each side. Then our side planks or the knee, the knee raises from here, back, here, back, here, back. I want 20 on that side, or 10 on one side, 10 on the other. Tick tocks, and I'm not talking about the app. I want your heels to your butt, crunch up, and you're going side to side. 10 times, hands under your butt, feet straight out, knees to your chest. 10 times, okay? Let me hear it in the back. Take your hands out of the cookie jar. We're time to work. All right, I'm gonna take my shoes off because it's getting spicy. It's gonna get a little stinky, but I'm slipping all over the place. Okay. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. We're gonna start this. Three, two, one. Here we go. All right, and that was 10 on each side. Now we're gonna go 10 on each side over here. The good thing about this is, the hardest thing is, is the break dancers. So, once you get past that, Everything else is a piece of cake. All right, round one done. Just to get spicy, I'm gonna do all 10 on my mountain climb, or break dancers on one side, then all 10 on the other. What? Yep. Holy spicy hot sauce. That got tough. Oh. Now we're going to TikTok. Now, you might ask yourself, I'm not coordinated enough to do a break dancer. How the hell do I do it? Or what else could I do instead of it? Just do a normal mountain climber, you know? Like here, like boom. But if a mountain climber is too easy and the break dancers are too hard, take your right knee and go to the left side. You know what I mean? So try to go across body. Start working it that way and then work yourself up to, a mount, uh, to the break dancers. Because the break dancer, all you're really doing is just extending the leg and kind of reaching forward at that point. Extend the leg, reach up. Thank you. 
Alright guys, if you're here with me right now, give yourself a pat on the back. Give yourself a big breathe, sit back, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Stretch out those quads, stretch out these shoulders. Because guess what, we got one last round. And if it's the last set, you know it has to be the best set. So let's go ahead, I know we're tired. It hurts. It's hot as hell in this room. There's no AC going on. But you know what? We're doing it to get stronger. Not so we can only physically get stronger, but mentally get stronger too. Because once you lose a little bit of weight, and once you realize you have the power within you to follow through with whatever your goals are, you're going to have more confidence. And who doesn't want to have more full confidence in life? Now let me shut up, and let's build a body that's hard to kill, and look good as hell naked. Here we go. Is it so let's go ahead and break out the chair and let's just talk for a second what's up miss Pam I hope you have a good workout Jen I hope you had a great workout I know I did now I'm gonna go ahead and talk at the end of these about my daily dose of fitness daily dose of fitness is something I'm starting every day especially during this quarantine we need to have a daily routine Make sure our teeth are clean, that we're staying hygienated, that we're cooking and prepping our food. Not so we can stay healthy, but so we can understand how much food that we have, plus staying healthy. It's always a great idea, right? And then every day, we need a little daily dose of fitness. We should have been moving 30 minutes prior to being, you know, at home anyways. And I think this has been a big wake-up call for a lot of people who weren't physically in shape, who are now worried about their health worried about because they have diabetes, because they have respiratory disease. These are all of these other underlying conditions. What this is all about is getting us to a healthier, happier place. A quick background about me. At one point in time, I weighed almost 270 pounds. I was a big boy. And you know, when you're, when you're looking at your, when you're looking at, you can't even see your toes, let alone your own manhood, because you're that, that big, it gets really demoralizing. And eventually you wake up and you get sick and tired of being sick and tired and you want to do something about it. And you're tired of being that person who puts something down on paper, who says they're going to do something, and then they never follow through with it. I didn't want to be that person. So at an early age, I said, okay, how do I do the thing that I love doing, which is playing paintball? And then how do I make a career out of being healthy and being fit? And this is how, this is what has come to be. I have had helped hundreds of people lose hundreds of pounds and at the end of the day, I feel blessed 
and passion. I feel blessed to do what I do because I'm passionate about it. I wake up every morning and I'm excited to get to work and excited to, to do this stuff for you. Not because I want to be some some like social media celebrity, but because I've, I've been able to help people's lives and I physically have seen it online and in person and it just makes a world of difference. So if we're here, share this post, go ahead, find, uh, excuse me, Facebook search your daily dose of fitness, ask to join the community page. I'm gonna be accepting everybody's invites. On um, Monday, I'm gonna close it out and it's only gonna be for people who sign up for coaching from here on out. If you wanna sign up for coaching, that's a dollar down and then it transitions to $89 a month. So that should answer any questions you have. If you have more questions, please feel free to fill out, uh, uh, reach out. We're gonna start doing, I forgot to bring up the most important thing. Monday through Friday at 10 a.m., I'm gonna have my virtual training sessions uh, it's via Zoom. So if you wanna get in on some virtual training, we do this workout together. So my whole community, everyone that follows me, on 10 a.m., let's go through this workout on Monday. And on Monday at noon, I do Tuesdays, Life feed. I feel like I completely screwed that up, so I'm sorry if I added any extra confusion because now I know I'm confused about it and I'm a little upset with myself now. Um, but yeah, let's just keeping it raw. I hope you guys have a great day. Enjoy your weekend. Wash your hands and don't go licking toilets. I'll see you guys real, real soon.